And we're back. Last time we went to the butcher shop and met Johan, who warned everyone we were coming. And this time we're going to investigate the alchemy lab we found in the back of the place and see what's up with this. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, um... Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Oh, shut up. That mm. symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? I've actually seen it at the, uh, I think the London Torture Museum has one, doesn't it? I couldn't really see. Is it like, uh, one of those racks that they stretch people on? Yeah, except it locks you in place and then twists your body parts in, like, a circle. I could have sworn that the London Torture Museum had one. I just don't remember. It's been so long. Yeah, there's some sick torches in London back in the past. It's a really cool Jeez. museum. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. That's a little weird. Kind of want to take a blood sample. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. <laughs> Cuts and way on the shelf. Yeah, it's a lot. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. Whoa. He's got his hooks into everybody. And it's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker, Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. And if I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sheriff. That board was like an alchemy version of Gone in 60 Seconds. Mm -hmm. I like how Big Bigby flipped the sign. That was cool. You said you were going to say something right at the start of the episode. And then I never I said it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Give me a second. Um, yeah. I'm going to pause it really quick. When I did my playthrough, um, I went to the Lucky Pond first. And so I can go ahead and tell you one of the differences between going to the butcher, butcher shop first. Um, when you go to the Lucky Pond, it alerts the butcher shop and you don't find anything written on that chalkboard that lays out that um, the Crooked Man's enslaving fables. So I learned a piece of information in this playthrough that I actually didn't have in the other playthrough. And I'm not sure what that's going to change, but we know the Crooked Man is super bad now. Like, like he's not just a deal maker and... A loan shark. He's like a slave driver, basically. Uh, it, it's looking pretty horrible. And that's all I basically wanted to say. But we'll see what the difference yeah. is at the Lucky Pond going there second instead of going there first. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just that's gonna? That's my fucking Jack, system. What the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna. Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <laughs> Hi, Jack. <laughs> I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen. So get the fuck out of my sight, hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. What an asshole. You know what? I'm just gonna handle it. You're gonna you what? Fuck. You're gonna what? Say that again? Oh. oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. False fight. <laughs> I will. Fucking stay down. There she is. Ooh. 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 Good hit. Ah. Hey, asshole. This game is 
Council. I found her. I've seen that statue before somewhere else. I think it was in Crane's apartment. No, oh, thanks, Woody. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for travelers, oh, Jackson. Huh? Yeah, that's always good. He won't be needing this anymore. I love Bigby's <laughs> shit-eating face when he was taking that. <laughs> that sick <laughs> piece of... Yeah. Hey! Shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? He helped you out. It's a good idea. I totally give him a cigarette. Woody's awesome. It may have been rivalry in the nice. past, but you know, best of buds now. Shitty brand. I sense a bromance coming. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? It's my job. I'll get him. All right. We'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. Here I go uh. again on my own! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a bromance coming. Yeah. He's a cool guy. I like Woody. That's probably the best thing you've said all day. 
you like Woody? I do. I really, really, really do. Anyway, <laughs> next time we're going to discuss more of my love for Woody and uh, get the magic mirror fixed, I guess, because we got the shard. So see y'all in the next time. Bye. <laughs>